It began, like all scientific journeys, with questions. What are black holes? What happens after a supernova? What exactly are quasars? The dawn of the space age hinted at answers, as scientists observed X-rays without interference from the Earth's atmosphere for the first time. And on July 23, 1999, with the launch of the Chandra X-ray Observatory, astronomers moved closer than ever to getting those answers. Chandra puts the world's most powerful X-ray telescope and a suite of high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy instruments into orbit, allowing scientists to gather X-ray data from sources billions of light years away, studying them in depth without disruption, using unprecedented images of the events and energy surrounding black holes, supernova remnants, and quasars. It's data that looks not only deep into space, but deep into the past since the energies that created the X-rays Chandra will be observing were created eons ago. Chandra is the culmination of years of work by TRW and its subcontractors Eastman Kodak, Raytheon Optical Systems Incorporated, Rossi, and Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corporation. Rossi provided the telescope's mirrors, which were integrated into the telescope assembled by Kodak. Ball Aerospace built and integrated the Science Instrument Module. TRW, as prime contractor, built and integrated the spacecraft itself, including the all-important structure that supports the telescope, provides its power, and controls its position in space, allowing scientists to direct its telescope to areas of interest. Sandra, I mean, it is just a, a beautiful telescope, statuesque, and one of the biggest things we've ever brought to space, certainly, and that's very clear when you look outside the window at it. And I know that uh, a lot of people have seen Chandra as it's being, been constructed and seen it as it's been installed in the shuttle, but I will tell you there is nothing as beautiful as Chandra sailing off on its way to work. The advanced CCD imaging spectrometer door opened successfully on August 8th clearing the way for additional activation and testing of the instrument. And Chandra's aft sunshade door was opened a few days later on August 12th. Today, Chandra continues to dazzle scientists with images like this one of a black hole in the central portion of the Andromeda galaxy, the blue dot in the center of the screen. This dot is a million degree X-ray source with the mass of 30 million suns or this image of a thousand young suns just forming in the Orion Nebula. At a distance of 1800 light years, this is the closest star forming area to Earth. And Chandra makes it possible for scientists to study these young stars effectively close up, something only its powerful telescope can do. And now, Chandra's new journey has begun. A journey into the unknown, providing answers to questions scientists have been asking for generations.